it's a tug of war. What is up guys and welcome to my house tour. Uh, if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you've probably known that I moved from Australia to the UK about two months ago and literally just as of today, we have sorted out the house and it's ready to show you guys. So without further ado, let's take a look. So this is the dining room uh, where we come to like it's show- It's not the dining room! The living room. Uh, basically where we come to chill out, uh, watch TV, eat dinner, I suppose, and just do whatever. Um, we've kept the, I don't know, TV unit pretty simple, not wanting to have too much on it. Like literally the whole house kind of follows that theme, like having like lots of simplicity. Like you'll notice there's nothing really on the table. We got a couple of decorations up here, which I, you would have recognized from my last setup. So that's really cool. My favorite driver, Lucy's favorite driver. Sometimes they clash at night and uh, have fun with that. But uh, yeah, that's the living room. Definitely didn't do that more than once as a take. We now move into the next room and it's very echoey. I apologize if it is, but uh, anyway, I'll try and keep my voice down. Here we have coffee table. No, it's not a coffee table. <laughs> it's the dining table. I can't believe I got that wrong. That clock doesn't belong to us. That's like literally one of the only things that came furnished with this house. Uh, otherwise, we've got the view outside. It's a pretty miserable day in the UK, to be honest. So yeah, I picked a really good day to, to film. I mowed that lawn like a week ago. That was quite a nightmare, but um, that's, that's the outside. You don't want to go out there at the moment. It's very wet. And here we have the kitchen. YouTubers don't cook that much, but we cook a little bit, I guess, which is kind of handy. Got everything you need in the kitchen, really. Snacks, whatever. It's a kitchen. Now we move into, I don't know, the laundry room. Um, there are some houses in the UK that have like your laundry stuff in the kitchen. Like, what are you doing? Anyway, this is a bit more like Australia, I suppose, how it's all separated. We have the downstairs toilet and sink thing. Yep, that's where you crap. It's what you want to see. And that is pretty much the downstairs. Um, not much to it. I mean, it is a big house for, for two of us, but we don't really spend that much time here. There's a lot of space, which is really cool. Like that whole space there is like, I don't know what the hell we're going to do with that, but we, we could easily put something there. Ping pong table, I don't know, let me know. Anyway, let's go upstairs and get out of that echoey mess because that is quite frankly a nightmare. And there's a Harry Potter cupboard. Oh, no, yeah, 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 I forgot. Thank you, Lucy, for reminding me. Here is um, bedroom number one. Harry Potter is um, prime resident. That's going into great detail. We didn't need to see that. But anyway, we got a Hoover. Not a Henry Hoover, we're not ballers. But um, yeah. Oh yeah, but Lucy wants to show the plant, yeah, as always. Um, as you make your way up, there's a free phone down there if you want that. First one to like the video, we'll get that. Oh, yeah. And you're getting a great view on my ass, I bet. Yes, you are. Which room shall we go to first? Okay, we'll go to the bedroom. I'll save my setup tour for last. This, you don't want to go in there. It's um, top secret. We have the bedroom, the humble abode. King size bed. Um, much, much different to what I'm used to back home. Just a single bed. Me and Lucy had to live on that for a year, so that was fun. So now we've um, compensated for that now. Uh, again, pretty simplistic, not too much going on. Color themes of like gray and like reddy pink. That's new, that's new. Basically we set up the whole house just for this video. So there you go. Tiny little TV in here. We open up this bad boy. And we have the bathroom. Very, very dark. Thank you, Lucy, for the camera work. All you need is love and a dog. What else can I say? Over here, we have some mirrored dressing tables, which look nice, but get dirty very, very easily. So that's, that's good. A couple of photos, not of our family, but of Joe and Diane. So appreciate that, Lucy. Again, do not go in there. Why? I don't know, I'm just building tension. 
Um, <laughs> bathroom. <laughs> that we don't use. Which we have not used at all. Basically a spare bathroom if we want to have some subscribers come over. In here, this is, this is Lucy's room. So, it's a four bedroom house. Uh, I've got my own office. Lucy's got a, a makeup room, essentially. We've got a couch here for chilling out and waiting for Lucy to get ready uh, while I'm on my phone. And then over here, we, if we pan across, we have Lucy's uh, pretty insane lighting setup. And I, even, even though I'm like not into makeup or anything, that looks damn sick. So I appreciate that. A couple of photos on the wall, some Strictly stuff up there, which Lucy is definitely one of going to capture for everyone to AJ. see. Yeah, big old AJ with them big abs. <laughs> That's actually my body photoshopped onto with AJ's face photoshopped over the top of me. A big giant. Oh, screw it. Let's let's open this up. Big old thing which we couldn't build. We had to get your parents to build, so that was that was fun. Um, and yeah, lots of room to put shoes and hats and clothes and stuff which is cool and then we got Lucy's side anyway that's the big mirror which Lucy is also very proud of moving on that's a big tigger <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else do we have this is um, a wardrobe thing I don't know what to call it whenever I open this door I always bang it on this light <laughs> just like that that's what you want basically we keep suitcases in there so yeah, that's that. And then finally we have the third bedroom, which embarrassingly is not done. This is going to be the guest room, but as you can see, we are housing every single box on planet Earth in there. Um, I'm actually kind of proud of my box collection. I, I, I want to get it up to the roof, to be honest. Um, but we had to throw some out, so that's I'm really sad about that. Anyway. Moving on to the final room, which uh, you probably all have been excited to see. This is my setup. Now, I don't want to go into too much detail because I've got a setup tour coming and I want to go in depth and have a look at like everything in great detail, but I'll bring you around to this uh, little wall here, which has, literally has nothing. Uh, we literally set this up today. We had some fairy lights that we were going to set up and Lucy's like, why don't we just throw them in here? So I thought, why not? We'll give it a go. and. See how I like it. It looks kind of cool, but we'll see what happens. You'll notice that there's like this huge space, and I, I yes, nice zooming out <laughs> on the ground. Um, there's enough space here for like a rig, so um, there's room to expand, I, I'd say. And I'd probably put like a green screen up here for uh, other videos that I want to film. We've got some big ass lights, which make the lighting in my videos really good now. The base of a PC, we've got a printer, speakers all my accessories and crap in there, two 27 inch monitors, microphone, um, I got that from Ikea, I got that from F1 which I really shouldn't have, that was far too expensive. Shout out to PlaySeat for this bad boy and to Veloce. Uh, this is my wheel which I will be going into great detail in, in another video, um, the setup video and also probably doing a review of this, but here we go. It's easy as pie to take off. This is the Fanatec F1 edition. Came out on Black Friday last year. And uh, yeah, it looks absolutely sick. Quick release, so you can take it off in two seconds. And this is where it lives when I'm not actually using it. It lives on this little stand uh, with my big old trophy, which I got carried to um, in the 24 hour from Buckmore. And of course, the piece de resistance, the Monaco F1 circuit. Uh, which I got, I'll leave a link in the description, but I got it from racetrackart.de. Um, those guys sent me a, a, my Monaco track from Australia. I couldn't bring it with me, unfortunately, so I just decided to buy it again. So I thought, you know, they're great guys, so I just thought I'd support them. Uh, 100k subscriber clock in there, just random assortment of things. My camera goes in there, but obviously it's filming. This bad boy I picked up from Ikea, and there's just a bunch of LED strips on top of that as well. That's the setup. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Hopefully you enjoyed them. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new to see plenty more racing game content. Basically, I love it here. Um, it's really cool to have your own space. Um, not be 
confined to having your whole life in one room. It's really cool, but uh, yeah, that's the setup. Until the next one, I'll see you next time. Goodbye. You were meant to go up. Oh, again. <laughs> Goodbye.